Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with your morning market stir for Friday, March the 20th, equity option expiration. Been a strong week, backed off a little bit yesterday. The Emin S&P down 11 points at 2,081 and one half. Dow futures down 104, 17,885. But the NASDAQ was positive, up two points at 44.22, closing in on the highs at 44.76, less than 1% above. The dollar surged back up 80 after a bit of unwinding on Thursday. 99.59 was a close, knocking the euro currency down 100 ticks at 106.53. Bonds didn't go up. They were steady. They were up two ticks. 163.06 was the close. We had crude oil backing up a bit, uh, down $1.15, trying to test those lows one more time at $45.50 for the contract we're trading now, which is May, since the April is over. And gold had a surge, up $18, even with the dollar moving up, at $11.69. So after the mixed action yesterday and a strong week, where did the market stand here on this Friday morning? Well, right now we're up seven points, about a third of a percent, in the E-mini S&P at 2,088 and one half. The Dow futures are up 85, 17,983. And the NASDAQ up 15 at 44.37, really closing in on the highs there, up about a third of a percent. The dollar's down 33 ticks at 99.25, giving the euro a little boost, 106.98, after making new lows this week, obviously. Uh, the bond market's up 7 at 163.12. The yield on the 30 years at 2.53, and we're at 1.97 in the 10 year note. It'd be interesting to see if it stays below 2% on a weekly basis. Crude oil down 65 cents below $45 at $44.90. And gold up $3 at $11.72. Is the bottom in, maybe. So to wrap up the action with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, we are positive on our last trading day of the week. Up a third of a percent, up seven in the S&P, up 85 in the uh, Dow futures, and up 15 in the NASDAQ. I will see you early Monday morning for your morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group where it all comes back to commodities.